In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Milk Makeup Holographic Stick in the shade Mars. What up fam? Welcome back to another video. So if you're brand spanking new here, this is the first time you're seeing my face, go ahead and subscribe if you like beauty reviews. I'm always trying to help you guys spend your coins wisely. So today's review is gonna be all about the Milk Makeup Holographic Stick. Now, um, look, I don't have any makeup on. Well, okay, look, I do have my brows on and I do have some lip gloss but no like normal face makeup. It's just super, super hot today. We're going through like a crazy heat wave and I've got all my studio lights on and I'm already sweating like the pits, the pits are sweating and it's, it's a problem. <laughs> uh, so, you know, I'm sure you guys are fine with it, but we're gonna go sans face makeup today and I wanna show you guys kind of demo the Milk Makeup Holographic Stick and just kind of see what it looks like on, you know, a person of color they specifically designed the shade NARS for uh, women with, you know, deeper skin tones, so caramel, dark, and then the deep skin shade range. So we're gonna put that to the test. And I've briefly swatched this just to kind of see what was up, you know. Um, and uh, I think it's gonna be pretty interesting. So I wanna zoom you guys in a little bit closer and uh, we'll just do some application. And um, as always, you guys know, I love hearing your opinion. So be sure to let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Do you think it's worth your coins? Would you try it out? All that jazz. So I just looked up a little bit more information about the holographic stick. So just so you guys know, it retails for $28. I got mine at Sephora and it's described as more of a rose gold peachy sheen and you can use it on your eyes, on your cheeks in that highlighter area and then also on your lips to intensify any like nude lipstick that you have or if you're going for a really different look, you can also add it on top of of a more bolder color. Taking the cap off, and I just kind of want to apply on my eyes first and just kind of see what this looks like. I would definitely recommend you guys, if you have oily lids, to wear um, eye primer, of course. Since I'm just kind of doing more of like an informal video, I don't have any makeup on, I just want you guys to see what it looks like. Um, I saw the model, she took her finger like this, and then she kind of dotted it on. Okay, so when you put it on, I'm actually really surprised. I thought this was going to look really awkward and gross, but it looks kind of like this nude sheen. And if I kind of move my head, you guys can see it kind of, you know, uh, the color shift. It's very subtle. In person, it actually looks really, really beautiful. And to me, I think it would work best with a more like natural face base look. Um, it definitely looks really nice with my no makeup thing that I have going on right now. I'm very surprised, very, I don't know. I just kind of like didn't expect that. You know what I mean? I thought I was just gonna look like some kind of like weird freak or something. Um, I like the finger application. This goes on super, super, super smooth. So let's go ahead and test it out in the cheek area and see what it looks like as a highlight. So on the actual video that I watched, I saw the model actually take the stick and drag it in the cheek area. And this is what it looks like before I blend it. I'm gonna use my fingers and just kind of like tap it, blend it out. Oh wow. You guys, look at this, this is actually really pretty. I thought it was gonna look so bad on my skin. Ooh, it's super, super subtle. Let me go ahead and do the other side and then we'll talk a little bit more about it. Wow, so take a look. Once you blend it out with your finger, it's really easy. I would say for somebody that's a beginner, and even like if you ha like really know your way around makeup, this is so easy to use. And I just kind of wanted to buy this product because it was something different, and I didn't think that I would actually like it at all. And I'm pleasantly surprised. Like I would actually use this. 
after I film this, I'm gonna go run errands and I'm gonna go around looking like this. I think it's beautiful um, and super subtle, which is what I like, not harsh. You know, I didn't want that like harsh, hollow, like streak on my skin. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't think for me personally, it would be a good look on me. Although some girls, they rock the heck out of it. And if that's you, do you boo. So next up, I'm going to also apply it on top of the lips. Right now I'm wearing um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Sepia Gloss, which is like my favorite, favorite, favorite nude. So I'm gonna take my fingers and kind of dab it on. Okay, so I'm not sure that you guys can see it, but there's a slight uh, rose gold sheen on my lips, which is really, really, really nice. In person, it just looks lovely. And I feel like this is kind of like highlighted my melanin. <laughs> Not to sound cheesy or corny or anything, but I think this is really beautiful. Props to Milk Makeup. For those of you guys that are into a more natural look, this is probably the most subtle I know with the lights kind of catching it, it probably doesn't look subtle, but it is in person. The most subtle, gorgeous highlight I've ever seen. And I'm totally feeling this for like my no makeup days, you know what I mean? Just pop this on and look like I'm like this sun goddess, you know? <laughs> because I really believe that in the sunlight, this is gonna look lovely. And I think that the rose gold tones complement brown skin very very nice i think this is even gonna look nice on like olive skin somebody that's like you know tan but they're like cool toned as well okay so my final thoughts i told you guys before i love this now it is 28 bucks so i think that unless you're somebody who is a makeup lover and you like being adventurous then it's worth it for you but if you're only going to try this every once in a while or whatever you know, it's probably not worth it, but I like it and it gives me the chance to kind of spice up those no makeup days. And when I do want to wear makeup, it's like a super subtle highlight. It's really, really, really pretty. Not something that I expected. I, I don't think that I ever thought I would like anything from Milk Makeup. It just never appealed to me. But my curiosity got the better of me um, and I'm actually really stoked that I took a chance on this product. Like I said, I think it excels in the like minimal makeup slash no makeup look. I think if you're looking for a super blinding highlight, eh, probably not, you know, um, for you. But I think for summer, cause summer's coming up and you know, who wants to wear like a, a full face every day when it's hot? But this will be really nice. It just like, it makes you look like you're glowing, you know? <laughs> and, and it really looks nice when the light, like sunlight catches it. Uh, yeah, if you guys have tried this out, please let me know down in the comments. And I always want to hear what your opinions are about this. I know this is like a super low key review, but I just kind of wanted to do something informal. You know what I mean? For you guys to get a chance to see me without much makeup on. <laughs> But yeah, and don't forget to check out my beauty product reviews playlist. I've got a ton of really cool reviews in there. So if you haven't watched that, go ahead and check that out. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.